Good morning guys. I've just been out in the garage to take stuff out to tidy the desk a bit and instead I came back with rubbish. A bit of scrap foam packaging. I've brought my aluminium tube back in again that I've been using for the pop pop boats and I'm going to make a little pop boat well, I'm not sure if I call it a boat, pop, pop, boat. It just spins round. I spotted it on um, Pinterest. And then I also saw one on the Grain channel. That's G-R-A-I-N. He does some brilliant um, projects on his channel. I've done one of his before. So I ought to credit grain with it I think although I did see it on Pinterest first so we just cut a circle from the foam make one of those uh, loops out of the aluminium tubing that we put a tea light under it stands vertically on the circle of foam and underneath where the pipe, pipes come into the water one points forwards and the other points backwards so when it's running it just spins round in circles or at least that's the general idea so i'll cut a circle out not sure quite how big it needs to be probably doesn't need to be that big but that's a convenient thing to draw around an edge just so we don't want that. So I'll cut that out with the sharpest knife I can find. Bend up a tube, stick it through and see if it spins round with a tea light under it. Hot wire would be the ideal way of doing this but I'll just use a absolutely fresh knife. I'll work on this, you don't need to watch me do it. All I will say is the sharper your knife is, the neater your cut. So that worked quite nicely. Right. Need to bend up a bit of tube into a coil. Coil needs to stick up above the boat with enough space underneath it for the tea light and the flame and it also needs to stick down a reasonable distance um, to stop it tipping over although to be honest I think that's wide enough that's not going to tip over very easily at all so I think I can keep my uh, legs underneath relatively short So this is my aluminium piping, which has actually uh, got wire up the inside of it. It's a Thermofuse defrost kit uh, from a refrigerator or freezer. This is the broken one, which uh, my daughter gave me after the repairman repaired her fridge. So we need enough to do a loop and some legs underneath. I'll try bending it round this. Aluminium tubing is not very strong and it does tend to kink like that if you're not careful. So I'll have to work on this. I may have been a bit 
mean on this. This may be a little bit small. Although we can extend it with drinking straw if we need to. We could put drinking straw straws on the bottom here. Because there won't be so much heat right down there. That might do. That might do. We need to bend it over at either end in opposite directions. And it's going to go down through there. Mm, that might work. We'll find out in a minute. I haven't got as much height there as I intended. Because we've still got to get tea light under there. I'll heat up my nail on a stick. Just get that reasonably hot. Now I can just melt some holes in there where I want the two bits of the tube to go down through. Yes, cutting that a bit fine there. We haven't got a lot of space there for the tea light. It might be all right. We'll give it a try. So I need some water so it can sit on there and spin around. I'll use a little bit of blue tack there just to fill the holes in to hold it still. Now the big question, will it work? Got to squirt some water in. Okay, that came out again. Uh, tea light. See what happens. With a bigger flame. This may take a while to warm up. I don't know. We've definitely got movement, haven't we? Well, that really wasn't working. So I've made another one, a bigger coil, longer legs, and longer pipes at the bottom, so they've got plenty of time to cool down. Okay, that's filled it up. underneath we'll put that back round it again to try and focus the heat so it doesn't get blown around at all Does it zoom back in again
Well, that took an awfully long time to warm up. I think we need a bigger candle. Just in case you missed what I said at the beginning, I got this idea from a picture I saw on Pinterest, but then I also found Grain had done one of these on his channel. So that's why I've got Grain written on there. I'll put a link in the video description to his video. I think the reason it goes and then slows down again is because there's not enough heat from that candle. So it warms up, starts it running, that pumps the hot water out and cold water gets sucked back in again. But so much cold water comes back in again, it takes the candle a long time to warm it up again. So it's doing this sort of cycle. That took a good 10 minutes or so to warm up. So a bigger candle would have done it a bit quicker. A disc of styrofoam and I'm using aluminium tubing because that's what I've got. Most people use copper or brass. And I've got a single tea light which is struggling to provide enough heat and I've got a wind shield around the outside which is just cut from a aluminium drinks can. That's helping to focus the heat up the middle. That's a bit more convincing, isn't it? Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.